RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Farm Progress 2013 is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, bringing plant potential to life. Uh, a little bit wet because we had a crazy downpour last night, but before that they were pretty good. Amazing. They're looking pretty good. Lots of moisture, but they're looking really good. Yeah. Wet. <laughs> nine, nine out of ten. Yeah. Nice. Really good. Crops are looking pretty good so far. We're a little late getting into the field because of the heavy snow this fall, but everything's looking good. Uh, I'd probably prefer to buy some, but if the option comes up, I'm not opposed to renting it. Uh, most likely renting more, possibly buying more, hopefully not selling anymore. <laughs> Uh, probably buying, there's a lot of aging farmers out there that might be selling in the next five years or so, so I'll keep my eye out for that. I think we'll just stay where we're at right now with me and my brother in school and stuff. We're kind of got the right size. <laughs> uh, not selling, probably not buying, maybe renting, maybe. <laughs> we will probably do both, buy and rent. Well, we won't be selling anything, hopefully. Uh, no, probably buying rents. Um, rent's a fast way to get in, but if it comes up, we always try to buy. Well, the Canadian Wheat Board one was memorable <laughs> for various reasons. Probably the CWB lady on the fence because it was so controversial, but they changed that to a, to a guy, so <laughs> it's more politically correct now. The egg more than ever. It's awesome. It's everywhere. <laughs> Uh, probably Borgo because that was what we were looking at. Uh, not necessarily, but lack of sleep sometimes clouds my judgment. Probably the CWB one with the people on the fence, I think. The one that Deborah Murphy commented on about the CWB. Anchorman, Talladega Nights, old school. Not really any of those. Probably old school. Anchorman. None. <laughs> Step Brothers. I'm not a big movie guy, sorry. I was rather partial to old school. Bring your green hat. 